Return Policy is a 3 mana Demon Hunter spell that discovers a death rattle we've played this game and triggers its effect. And our death rattle of choice is, of course, Therizane, which doubles the stats of all elementals in our hand and deck. So with Therizane, the two return policy effects, and then the two Therizanes discovered from the return policies, we can give all elementals in our deck 32 times their original stats. But return policy doesn't just work with minion death rattles, it can also work with Umpire's Grasp, a 4 mana 3-2 weapon with a death rattle to draw a demon from our deck and discount it by 2, and we are of course going to be drawing into Window Shopper, which will then be a 3 mana 6-5, with miniaturize and discover a demon and set its stats equal to this minions. So anything we get will then be a 3 mana 6 5. And of course anything we discover from the little miniaturized version will be a 1 mana 1 1. So we either get to cheat out some big demons or we get to make the biggest elementals you've ever seen. And either of those is a recipe for success at least about a third of the time. Stinker of a hand. Okay, Umpire's Grasp, but I do have a return policy to go with it, potentially. Okay, but I drew a Window Shopper, so... A second Umpire's Grasp Death Rattle doesn't do a whole lot for me. I'll just play a couple of 1-2s here. Could have just traded off a Rolling Stone, but it can get bigger. By Hero Power, they get Hidden Meaning. If I'm gonna hero power, I should have done it first to check for explosive. I guess I just don't do it. I really don't want my 3-2 to die. And I do have a 5 mana window shopper I can play next turn. Maybe I just pass. Alright, fair enough. I mean, I guess it is a secret just from their deck, so being explosive was pretty unlikely. Maybe I just shouldn't have respected explosive trap. Gotta be Magtheridon, right? Observer of Mysteries is a great card to have. Do I want to play Magtheridon here? Probably not. Unless this is bait and switch. Could have also just hero powered to play around bait and switch. But I think this is fine.
Oh, stealth. I was going to hover over to see what it got, but obviously it was stealth. This is partially upgraded. Oh, a freeze. I mean, I guess this being three mana is kind of annoying. Love the big man. It is pretty easy for me to draw cards, so that card looks pretty nice. Alright, great turn. We got a Freeze and an Azerite Vein. Probably not a great pair of secrets, but they are still annoying. Oh, that just dies, right? Ten cards in hand. Okay, there's a Dorian to go with this, which I could play this turn, but my hand is a bit full for it. I also could just go Dorian Character Artist. It is 50% to hit Therizane. What happens when I do this? Oh. That was stronger than I was expecting. Alright, show me Therizane. Beautiful. I think both of the attacks I've made so far this turn have been questionable. Those last two were good, though. Uh, next turn, for sure, is just double Therizane, right? Whoa, the copy doesn't get a mustache? After you draw a minion, get a 1-1 copy of it? This should have a mustache, right? They probably have to attack Dorian, right? I think I should be able to Therizane here. Their board is scary, but the Therizanes do have taunt. And once they've been Therizaned, I, uh... I've got some nice taunt minions to keep me alive. Unfortunately, even with all the work I've put in, I am dead to Reno here. But simply playing Reno this turn was pretty good for the opponent. Hopefully no Reno. Didn't want to draw the card, huh? God, my minion just has so much health. It's just beautiful to look at. Was sixteen forty two the Columbus voyage? Is that 1692? 1492. Wait, that makes way more sense now that I think about it. Anyway. Uh, my opponent's got a hell of a board. I... 
I simply want to play another Therizane. Am I too greedy? Let's see what this does. I'm very scared of Freezing Trap, so I'm not going to attack here. The attack doesn't really matter that much, because I kill a 3-3 and heal from 30 to 30. Alright, I Therizane again, so I have a minion in hand with 80 power. <laughs> Only need to attack one more time to upgrade this. Maybe I should have just smacked into something with my hero power here. Like, I'm healing 16 every time this thing does damage. Very strong. It is a Reno deck, so... Well, I guess I don't technically know that it's a Reno... Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw Marut. Um, so, no more Obsidian Revenants from this, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, if I could just do this and then this, it was lethal. I also... I could play the, uh, the Crystalline Statue and draw enough cards to make it rush there, which I probably would have done. Nice. The quadruple Therizane. Foreman versus Kael'thas. It seems my work is not finished. These chains cannot hold. I like this one-two curve. Okay, very good hand. Another Shell Spider is really good. I have a very solid curve here. Simple turn for the Demon Hunter. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Alright, this Spellstone might be nice to have. Might use it to wake these up next turn. Stinky. They still need two. What if I just play this guy? I don't really want to take damage clearing this. So I'm going to go face and then use my minions. I'm the perfect toy for you. 
pretty bad. Nine cards in hand is fine. We do a little shopping. We do a little healing. I think I'd rather have secrets than uh than Megtheridon. Explosive and ice barrier, so nothing basically. Not too scary. Oh, I do love a Therizane. I think I just play it here. And then next turn I do have mana for return policy plus Therizane. But that's assuming my opponent's not just dead. I'm showing quite a lot of damage. No, they're gonna buff all their elementals. So I can push the six if I want a hero power into this, which I absolutely do not. I guess I could also go dang blasted and then return policy for the death rattle. And then I could push six, but I think it makes more sense to just play big ol' Therizane. Actually, it probably makes the most sense to get Therizane but not play it. My opponent's very low on cards, so I don't think I'm very likely to die to Sif here. These things are all pretty scary, though. Picked up two freezes. Alright, a pretty weak titan, all things considered. Let's play a Stone Drake here. That's big healing, but I can also do big healing with the Stone Drake. I think it is Therizane time now. Kill that mostly just for fun. They're not a Reno deck, so I'm not really sure. Okay, they're just hoping to gain another 32 armor. But I'm not sure what the long-term plan is. Nice, I got stealth on my Therizane. And what happened to you? Did it get taunt? 
How do I not get a Wind Fury at least here? Got two Poisonuses, which Poisonous is good. They actually gave... This got Divine Shield, which means I can't trade it off, which is kind of annoying. But probably not really relevant. I do have Dorian plus Caricature Artist, but the Stone Drake I'm hitting is not very exciting. Probably just play the Stone Drake. Eh, maybe I'll just play a couple of 12-12s. This is fine. That does keep them alive. Do I trade this off here to play some bigger minions? Probably hard to pass up the 14 damage. I guess I just play this Stone Drake. No Reno in that deck. I've seen both Inquisitive Creations. They are three Excavates away from another Azerite Hawk. What else could happen? I guess a Reverb? No, they can't target Stone Drake with Reverb. You burn some, you burn some. Hopefully this doesn't clear my board. They have oh, four cards in hand. Yeah, not quite good enough. Only 67 off from clearing my board. Boom, there's Zane. Almost got to play a 32 power uh, Firefly. Um, both of these twos are like kind of respectable, but I don't think they're keeps. Love Umpire's Grasp. Okay, we got the Grasp into Dorian combo. Sludge Warlock. Only one fatigue on that, it's not too scary. Wow. I mean, they do farm some sludges off that, but was that worth it? I mean, they would have gotten one more sludge either way. I don't know, that didn't seem good to me. But what do I know? I put Therizane in my Demon Hunter deck, so I can't be that smart either. Gibbering Reject is fun. 
Um, I don't really want a hero power into this, but maybe if it means I get to play a reject, it's good. Alright, now we're cooking. Big T. Not sure if this is going to be a Therizane game. Uh, definitely got to be an Abyssal Bassist. Alright, we're popping off. How many barrels is this? Three, I want to say. No, only two. Wow, they milled a symphony. Uh, are they dead? Yeah, they're just dead. Very nice. 